Over the past few months, I've been getting a lot of questions from people in which they ask me how I was able to take a particular trade. Well, all my trades are based around the market makeup models nowadays. Many people want to know what they consist of, so I've decided to create this lecture for you. I want you to open up your note taking program and take notes of what I'm about to tell you. Because this could be the game changer in your understanding of price delivery. Here's a full lecture on market maker models and I hope that you will find it valuable. Enjoy. Okay, so before I start today's video, I just want to put emphasis on the fact that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to invest in something. Investing or participating in the financial markets carries along a huge financial risk and emotional risk, and I am not responsible for that. All the information in this video should be seen as meant for educational and or entertainment purposes only. Anyhow, now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive into today's video. Okay, so we're going to start with the market maker buy framework. Here you can see a visual representation of what the market maker buy model looks like within arrows. So here you can see the sell side of the curve in which the market trades lower, is drawn to sell side liquidity. Therefore, the name is the sell side of the curve. Then the market trades into a reversal price level. So this is where the smart money reversal takes place. The market now starts to deliver higher prices and is drawn to buy side liquidity. So therefore, this is the buy side of the curve. Higher prices get delivered. What I want you to take away from this chart or from this image is that this is really what's going on within the marketplace. You wait for the market to trade into your reversal price level, which I will talk about in this lecture. Don't worry. I will tell you how to anticipate this reversal. You wait for confirmation of this reversal and then you can just buy the buy side of the curve. It's that simple, right? Well, let's dive deeper into this market maker buy framework. Okay, so here is a schematical representation of the market maker buy framework. Please do not feel like this is too much for you right now, because I can understand that this might be shocking to you. All the annotations, you, your eyes are probably drawn to everything in here, but I will go through it with you. Just give me a few minutes, listen to me, and I will explain every single annotation here. So first of all, you have an original consolidation up here. You can see that the market is consolidating in here. Thus retail would look at this as oh here's resistance the market doesn't trade higher so therefore this is a resistance price level so we must place our stop losses above these highs above the resistance price level because they think oh if the market breaks above this price level well then it's a breakout and we don't want to be in there and therefore our idea is invalidated so the market trades away from this original consolidation and it retraces. A high gets created. Rito looks at that as, oh, resistance again. So what do they do? They trail their stop loss or they just open a new position and place their stop loss above this high. More buy side liquidity gets engineered. Then the market expands lower. It retraces, creates another high. What does retail think? Oh, resistance again. Let's place our stop losses above this high. The same thing occurs here. So that's how buy side liquidity gets engineered. Why is it buy side liquidity? Well, when someone is opening a short position, so they're betting against the market that it's going to go lower, your stop loss becomes a buy order. Why? Well, if you short, 
in order to get out of your short position, you need to have a buy order. It's a buy stop. So above each high, buy stop rests. Buy stops rest. And those buy stops are liquidity, buy side liquidity. So the market trades into this reversal price level, which is a discount array within a market maker buy model framework. And then it reverses and we see the buy side of the curve, the right side here of the curve. This is the sell side of the curve and this is the buy side of the curve. Now the market is trying to buy side liquidity. Where does buy side liquidity rest? Above this high, above this high, above this high, and above the highs of the original consolidation. So here I've annotated what occurs. Basically, on the red side you can see that lower prices get delivered. So these are sell. So this is the sell side of the curve. Lower prices get delivered. Red side, then the reversal takes place, and then the buy side of the curve gets delivered, which are green candles. So therefore, this area is green. I'm going to dive deeper with you into each area of this curve. Let's begin with the reversal, the smart money reversal. So the reversal. The reversal is basically the place or the price level where smart money decides to push the market higher or where the algorithm has a change in the state of delivery, meaning sell side get de gets delivered all the time, then something changes within the delivery of the algorithm and then buy side liquidity gets delivered. So it is drawn to buy side liquidity. It pushes, it reprices higher, higher, higher to target these highs. How can we know where a smart money reversal is taking place or how can we confirm that a smart money reversal has taken place? That's probably what's in your mind because we do not try to catch bottoms. We do not try to catch bottoms. Re let me repeat that. We do not try to catch bottoms. So we must have confluences to confirm a possible reversal scenario. So therefore we're going to look at something which is called SMT. There's no real definition behind it, but you could call it a smart money tool. And SMT basically means that there's a cracking correlation between assets or markets that should be highly correlated with each other. This correlation can be an, an exact correlation, meaning that they should do exactly the same. But it could also be an inverse correlation that they do the complete opposite of each other. That's what they should do. This is the case with the euro against the dollar. But since I'm focused on indices, I'm going to use the indices as an example to show to you what an SMT looks like within the charts. Okay, so here you can see the S&P, the E-mini S&P, the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones. E-mini S&P, Nasdaq, Dow Jones. These markets should, should be delivered the exact same in terms of where they create lows and where they create highs. That's what they should do. Well, since we're looking at the buy side of the curve, what you often see is that when there's this significant crack in correlation within a discount array, such as an imbalance or an order book or a breaker or a balanced price range or a mitigation book or a another price level, it doesn't matter. Just in any discount array, maybe below all the lows, you often see that there's this cracking correlation between these three markets. And this cracking correlation by itself doesn't mean anything. You can't just go on the charts and look for a cracking correlation between the markets. Because why is this a cracking correlation? Well, look, the E-mini S&P made a higher low. The Nasdaq made a lower low. That is already a significant crack in correlation. The Dow Jones made a higher low as well. Do you get it? Because what should have happened within, within 
real markets or within real delivery of price, Nasdaq should have followed E-mini S&P and the Dow Jones. It should have also created a higher low, but it didn't. And that's a significant crack in correlation. It's a sign that smart money is actively accumulating their long positions within this marketplace. But like I said, you can't just open up your charts and think, okay, um, I see a crack in correlation. So therefore smart money is with, uh, participating within this marketplace. So therefore I'm going to do something within the marketplace. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Why not? Because narrative comes first. Where should we look for SMTs? Well, I just showed that to you. I just showed that to you. So if you look for an SMT within a price level in which you expect a smart money reversal to take place, and then you can see something else occur, which I will talk up, up on next, man, probabilities of this being the actual reversal price level go through the roof. And words can describe it. And the reason why I'm becoming more passionate about it in terms of or the reason why my voice tone is changing and why I am sounding a bit more, more, how to say this, a bit more energized by talking about this is because I'm so passionate about this because I know that it is happening, but you can't take my word for it. You just can't. You need to go into the marketplace and you need to see for yourself, is what I'm saying true? Does it occur? And if you are not willing to do that, well, then that's on you. Then that's on you. So let's move on to the next confirmation of the reversal. And here we have the magic, the real sauce. This is something that I have named that I am the founder of and I'm not here to be arrogant or anything like that. I'm not here to take real credits for it, but I am the one that pointed the community to what ICT was hinting at the whole time in terms of market structure shifts. Why? Well, within the 2022 mentorship, there was a significant repetition of this terminology used by ICT in terms of the market structure shift. We all thought that it was just, oh, a uh, high gets broken by an imbalance or with, with uh, speed and velocity. So therefore we have a shift in market structure and therefore the market is going to deliver into the opposite direction. One could argue that that's true, but there is one thing that that person is missing. And that is this imbalance right here. This imbalance within the buy side of the, within the sell side of the curve, I'm sorry, is significant. And then this retracement, creating an intermediate term high. And before I go, go on with this, before I continue, please watch my other videos about this topic because they will probably give you Oh, it's crazy. Keep on watching them on repeat until you get it because it's a fucking, it's a, it's a secret weapon hidden within the marketplace. And if you truly understand it, man, doors start opening up and man, the, the, the main reason why I'm even saying this right now is because I know that it works. And so many people have come to me and said, man, I'm so grateful for what you've posted because this was the missing piece in my understanding of price delivery. So if you don't like the fact that I'm renting, just move away. I'm creating this video for you. I'm creating this video for you. I'm spending my time and energy to teach you something. And if you don't like the fact that I'm renting like this, just go away. Because this is not the end of this video and I think I will continue with doing this. <laughs> so here we can see the imbalance, the CB. We have a retracement creating an intermediate term high, the market trades into our price level in which we expect a smart money reversal to take place, our discount array. Then we can see that the market leaves the smart money reversal. And then look here, because this right here is so significant, words can describe it. This intermediate term high here, 
this high that's retraced into the CB, into the imbalance, the bearish FVG gets broken by a BC, a bullish fair value gap. So this intermediate term high gets broken by a bullish fair value gap, a BC. What does the market do? It trades lower, it retraces, and then continues higher. This right here is gold. It is absolute gold. It's a it's a unicorn, it's a power, it's whatever you want to call it. It's it's a thunder strike. It's something that is so fucking powerful that words can't describe it. And if you use it properly, man, your eyes start opening up and you feel like you've just seen the matrix for what it truly is. It's unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. And this is what I called the mar market structure shift pattern. It's something that I've named, it's something that I've pointed to for, or at least that I, I actually gave proper terminology for it. I gave proper confluences for it. I gave proper rules for it. And I was, in my opinion, or to my understanding, the first one that named it like this, I believe six or seven months ago that I talked about it for the first time and man, People are really starting to become aware of how fucking powerful this right here is. It is unbelievable. And it's like, it's like the, the hidden magic trick that can really give you so much confirmations of a reversal within the marketplace or a change in the state of delivery. So from sell side delivery to buy side delivery, man, it is shocking. Okay, so that is what I wanted to talk about with the market maker buy model. Let's move on to the market maker sell model. Okay, so here we can see a visual representation of the market maker sell model. On the left side of the curve, we have the buy side of the curve, and then we trade into a reversal price level. This is where the market starts to reverse, so then the sell side of the curve takes place. Well, it's important to know that this is basically just the market maker buy model in first. So now I will just take you with me through a market maker sell model schematic and go in great detail explaining it to you. We have the buy side of the curve, reversal, sell side of the curve. We have our accumulation phases on the left side of the curve and then we have our distribution phases on the right side of the curve. Here we can see a market maker sell model schematic. It starts off with an original consolidation. This is where the market is consolidating within a certain price range. Sell side liquidity gets engineered below the lows of this consolidation. Then the market starts to trade to or draw to that specific price level where the smart money reversal will take place eventually. So this is the buy side of the curve. This is the buy side, this is the sell side of the curve. Below the lows that get formed on the buy side of the curve, so below the lows that get formed after each retracement, what is a retracement? A retracement is a move like this, and this, and this, and this. Below those rows, sell side liquidity gets engineered. Why? Well, from a retail trader's perspective, every time that the market trades away from a specific price level, that price level is so-called support, if we're looking at it from a bullish perspective, of course. So what a retail-minded trader would think when he looks at this chart is that he sees, oh, the market trades lower, then it stops here and it turns around. So therefore, this is a support level and my stop loss must be below this low. Because that's what the books teach, right? 
they teach you to place your stop below such lows. They teach, your, teach you to place your stop below support levels. That's what they teach. So anyhow, sell side liquidity gets engineered on the left side of the curve. Then the market trades into that specific premium array in this case, in that into that specific price level. The market reverses, the smart money reversal takes place. We will dive into how we can confirm this again later on. But first, I'm going to take you with me on the sell side of the curve. The market reverses here and lower prices get delivered. Now the market is trying to sell side liquidity. Where does sell side liquidity rest? Sell side liquidity rests below the low of the buy side of the curve or the lows of the buy side of the curve. I'm sorry. So below the red lines. And why? I explained that to you one minute ago. So why does the market do that? Well, the market moves based on two things or it's drawn to one of two things. It's either drawing to liquidity or it is drawing to an inefficiency or imbalance within price delivery. And if it is doing neither of those two things, it is consolidating and within consolidation price environments, I am not a big fan of looking for any particular place. Why? Because it needs to be obvious to me where the market is drawing to. If I see a significant displacement up here, which is also, by the way, if you take a look at this, the market maker sell model is actually the low risk sell of I'm sorry, the 2022 mentorship is actually the low risk sell of a market make sell model. Why? Well, you have displacement below this low in the form of my market structure shift pattern. And that market structure shift pattern is only valid, valid if they, a CB, in this case, a bearish FEG breaks this intermediate term low. So we have significant displacement on the downside. The market retraces, offers buy side into this bearish FEG, into the CB, and then it expands lower. Isn't that exactly what the 2022 mentorship is about? Buy side gets burst above this short term high. Then we see, then we wait actually for the displacement. And when the displacement takes place and there's a bearish CB or F, um, there's a CB or a bearish FEG, boom, short. Stop above this high. This high should not be broken if we're going to see lower prices. Where do you where do you take profits? Below sell side liquidity pools. Or within sell side liquidity pools, and those pools rest below all those. Are you starting to see? how everything is basically moving around market maker models. So just like with the buy side of the, uh, with the market maker buy model, I've created a, a uh, schematic in which you can see where the market is tr tr uh, drawing to what. So on the left side of the curve, higher prices get delivered, higher prices are green, so green candles and on the right side of the curve, the sell side of the curve, lower prices get delivered. So those are red candles or whatever. You get the idea. Green is up, red is down. It's that simple. So now that I've again shared with you the market maker sell model, I want to dive with you into the smart money reversal and how we can confirm it again, just like I did with you within the market maker buy model. Okay, so here we can see the three indices again. We can see the E-mini S&P, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. I've already pointed to you where you need to look at for the S&P within these three markets. I want to give you some more sauce with regards to S&Ps because I feel like within the market maker buy model S&P, I kind of said it to you already, but I want to give you more detail for why this is valid because I want you to think about this more in depth because look at it this way. These markets should be delivered 
in the same manner they should follow one another. So that means if one of these markets is not in sync with the other two markets, that is a significant sign if you have a certain framework in mind and if your narrative is for example bearish in in case of a market maker sell model. Why? Well, look at it this way. If these markets were in fact in perfect correlation with one another, so that means that every market of the tree would make a higher high in this case, there would be a perfect correlation and that is okay. But because there is no perfect correlation in this example, because ES made a lower high while Nasdaq and Dow Jones made higher highs, there is a crack in correlation and that is significant because that is basically like the, the, the top of the cake that you can wish for, the best sign that you can wish for because it really shows, okay, smart money is accumulating their short positions within this marketplace because why? Well, if these markets were in fact just following what the protocol says, which says, okay, you follow one another, then ES would all have also made a higher high. But because that isn't the case, it's like a sign of, okay, smart money is actively participating within this marketplace. So therefore, if the other criteria of a smart money reversal get met, this is a high probability smart money reversal. And I hope that you truly find the value in that and that you truly put in the time and start looking for this within your market maker frameworks and especially within the smart money reversal because it is very possible that you will be able to come to great findings. And the fun thing will be that if you start looking at the possible demo trades that, demo trades that you have taken over these past, let's say, past few months or years and start looking for, okay, um, first of all, was there a market maker framework? Yes or no? Chances are that if your trade was profitable and it played out, there was a market maker framework in fact, because every market move is a, is a part of a market maker framework. Yep. Every single market move is a part of a market maker framework. And at the end of this presentation or of this lecture, I will show to you why with a great amount of detail and I will teach you why price is fractal. Ooh, sauce. But first of all, start looking for SMTs. Trust me, you might see things that you are simply unaware of yet and your eyes might be opened. Okay, so here we can see my market structure shift pattern but now in a bearish example within a market maker sell model framework the market trades into our premium array into our premium price level in which we expect a smart money reversal to take place then we wait for the intermediate term low to be broken why is this an intermediate term low it repriced into this imbalance in price this bc this bullish fair value gap so to say it offered sell side into that it created an intermediate term low it traded away from that so this right here is a significant low within market structure this should not be broken if we're going to see bullish prices well it does get broken Wh by what does it get broken by a cb by a bearish feg so you have significant displacement on the on the downside this is confirmation of a change in the state of delivery within the algorithm, so lower prices are going to be targeted. What occurs, market retraces, it trades lower. Okay, let me repeat that, slower for you. BC, intermediate term low, trades away. A CB, a bearish FEG, breaks the intermediate term low. This is a market structure shift. The market retraces, offers buy side, and is now allowed to trade lower and is drawn to the lower price objectives. And if you combine this with an SMT in the smart money reversal, man, probabilities of this being the actual reversal go through the roof.
through the roof. And the reason why I'm so passionate about it when I when I speak about this is because I just oh it is first of all it was shocking to me when I saw this pattern hidden within the markets. But was what was also even more shocking to me was the fact that I was able to point it out to others and that others were also able to start seeing it within the marketplace and then I was like damn this right here is a gem this right here is a gem and you can either take my word for it and start looking for it or you don't and you're lazy but if you're choosing to do that don't complain to me I know that some of you have been with me for close to a year right now and I, t I talked about this like seven months ago and you are still unaware of this pattern is that foolishness or is that just a laziness it's one of the two because you have watched the video but you are still struggling with determining what a high probability shift in market structure is why it was hidden in that video there's a reason why it's called the hidden secret of the 2022 mentorship. And man, if you don't get it yet, just keep on rewatching until you do and keep on forcing yourself to sit behind the charts and study, just study, start, just look for this only. If you just look for this market structure shift pattern, man, uh, I'm telling you right now, man, you you will become aware of something that is just oh words can't describe it and it will be a very exciting thing for you you will feel like man this right here is in fact gold and just send me a tweet just tag me in a tweet when you found it or when you see it occur over and over again or just send me a private match a private message a dm on twitter and just say yeah i've seen it or just leave a comment below this video because man the fact that i am able to point people to something like this and by the way <laughs> if you already think that this is valuable and that this is sauce Just imagine what the ones that no get to see. But th this is just so powerful. And once you see it, you just can't unsee it. And if you combine this with the with the SMT within the smart money reversal, with the fact that the market trade into that premium gray, and if all these things line up with time. Because time is the most important fact. It's the most important thing within the delivery of the algorithm. Time comes first, then price. Man, it's shocking what type of precision you are able to achieve. And it's like a, like ICT always says, it's like reading a, a page of a book that you have read thousands of times. And just feel so confident in acting based on. Because it's like, jeez, it's crazy. And let me drop something else for you. This is even more powerful. If this high right here rebalanced an imbalanced price range. So your stop can be above this high. And it should not be broken if your overall market maker sell model is in fact what the algorithm is referring to because if it does that means that this right here was just a purge of, of sell side liquidity that this right here was a purge of sell side liquidity and that this was a trend line phantom within the marketplace and buy side liquidity rests above these highs but how do you know that that is the case significant displacement 
So that sums up the market maker sell model. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how you can be a intraday trader on your demo accounts. I'm not telling you to trade, but how you can, how one could trade the intraday markets if there is no real higher time frame perspective on price. Let me explain that to you. So on the left chart here on the left schematic, you can see an hourly chart. You can see that the market trades lower as a retracement trades lower again, but a CB gets created a bearish FEG. At a certain point, this bearish FEG, this imbalance within the delivery of price has to be repriced to or rebalanced, so to say. So what you can wait for is that the market trades into some type of price level in which you expect a smart money reversal to take place on the lower time frame because look at it this way on the left side on the hourly chart you have fewer candles but every hourly candle every minute or every five minutes okay so <laughs> let's do some muffs Every hour, which is 60 minutes, has 12 five minute candles on it. Why? Well, 12 times 5 is 60. It's just basic math. So on the hourly chart, you have fewer candles. But these fewer candles do, in fact, create certain PD arrays, such as imbalances that have to rebal be rebalanced at a certain point in time. So when the market trades into this reversal price level and you see on the M5 significant displacement, this is confirmation of a retracement under the on the hourly chart, but also on the M5 chart, of course, because it's the same thing, but it's just more visually pleasing because you have more candles to work with. So this high right here is the low of this hourly CB. But hey, when you look at this, it this way, isn't this a market maker buy model? Yeah, it is. Why? Sell side of the curve, buy side of the curve. But hey, on the hourly chart, this could be just done within a few candles. And then it looks like, oh, it's just a retracement before maybe even dropping lower. Or it's going to continue higher. I don't care. I just care about cashing this retracement up. And because I have this hourly drawn liquidity, which is this imbalance, I can utilize a lower time frame chart to frame a market maker model and just take a trade based on that on my demo account, of course. So what I want you to take away from this is that every single retracement has a market maker model on it. Every single market move that is drawing to a certain price level has a market maker model in it. Because for example, you could also say that, okay, this chart on the left is a weekly chart. Let's just say that it's a weekly chart. There's this weekly imbalance that hasn't been traded into yet, that is imbalanced. And the market traded into a price level in which a reversal or a retracement can start off. So on the daily chart, it could look like this. Buy side, buy side, buy side. Why is there buy side equity? Resistance, resistance, resistance. Reverse, significant displacement, retrace, expand higher. Expand into what? That imbalanced price range on a higher time frame. 
this right here, this retracement and this exp expansion higher is a market maker framework. It is absolutely a market maker framework, but it doesn't look like this. But when we would go into, for example, an M1 chart, it is an absolute market maker framework. Why? Well, the market trades into a price level in which we expect a reversal to take place. So let's say that this is the M5 breaker or M5 imbalance BC that's created here or a imbalance price range or another price level in which a reversal takes place. Buy side liquidity is engineered above this high here. So on the M1 chart, you could have multiple retracements in here, in here, which make up the sell side of the curve. And then you wait for displacement within this smaller piece of price section. You wait for displacement. Okay, I see displacement. Okay, so I know okay, sell side of the curve is done. Buy side of the curve is now going to be offered. Displacement, retrace, boom, done. What is your target? This high. And if you, you can make it really crazy because it ha even happens on a 30 second or 15 second or five seconds. It, you get what I'm pointing at. Within every market move, a market maker framework can be justified or can be seen. And this is something that you should really dig into. You should really dig into this. Because if you trade in line with the higher time frame institutional order flow, man, it's like, whoa, a whole new world opens up for you. A whole new world opens up for you. But you could also be a contrarian trader so that me on your demo accounts. So that means that, okay, uh, the higher time frame order flow is bullish, but I'm a perma bear, so I just want to short into bullish or into discount arrays, in which I expect the market to retrace into before expanding higher. So I will be a seller into the discount array. And that is where I take off. So if you would think about that, that basically means that within a market maker buy framework, you are selling the sell side of the curve into the discount array in which you take, in which you expect a reversal to take place before higher prices get delivered. And this is where your, your personality really steps in. It's when you are able to, to f determine what suits you best and this is different for everyone but the overall logic is the same that's the most important thing the overall logic is the same and that is just something that you can only learn through experience by trying everything out oh um within a market maker buy framework you could be for example more confident in selling the sell side of the curve and within a market maker sell framework you could for example be more confident in buying the buy side of the curve even though there is a market maker sell framework isn't that magical isn't that awesome i think it is and it's a fun thing because I have many friends with whom I discuss markets a lot. And sometimes I buy the buy side of the curve within a market maker sell framework and someone else sells the sell side of the curve. And that's just, it's cool. It's very cool. Because where I exit or where I entered actually, could be a pyramid entry for them or even their first entry. And that's just uh, very cool. So enough chatter about charts that I've created myself. And that you're probably wondering like, oh, why isn't he going in price action? Why isn't he showing this within the markets? If this was so true, why isn't he showing us examples? Well, I'm going to show, show, you, show you some examples. <laughs> Let's dive into them. So the first trade that I want to uh, 
explain to you or the first example of a market maker sell model that I want to explain to you is a trade that I took on the Dow Jones. It was a market maker sell model. It occurred on the 27th of January during the PM session. And I'm just going to play the video with you. I've slowed the clip down a bit because the original recording was posted on my Twitter. If you are not following me yet on Twitter, be sure to do that because I often post these type of recordings and I've been doing that for a while now. And it's very cool to see other people or other content creators actually start doing the same thing. Because in my opinion, it's very good that we as, as uh, influencers, so to say, or people with an audience that we share these type of things because it is very valuable to just few people candles paint as weird as it may sound it is very valuable so anyhow i'm uh, typing uh, i'm typing out what i'm seeing right now and by the way i shouldn't have annotated open high low close but open low high close and i think this is better than just showing you a chart image and talking about what occurred this is just life this is like I executed based on this and if that isn't enough proof to you that this really works I don't know what is I really don't know what is on the left side here on the original consolidation sell side liquidity as engineered we have the buy side of the curve into a price level where we expect a smart money reversal to take place a premium array then we see a market structure shift here the lower time frames I didn't show that in this example but here was a market structure shift then here we see the sell side of the curve take place here sell side of the curve where the enter I entered within this imbalance in price And this is just a beautiful example of a market maker sell model and watch it just tear down from here just beautiful beautiful and it's very random so the reason why i'm showing this clip is not because of all of these annotations that i'm making sure they are very valuable and you just study them when you have the time for that but the reason why I'm sharing this clip is because it was a perfect market make sell model. Think about it. What I've taught to you in this lecture. I taught to you that we, we anticipate when the market is trading higher, we anticipate a downwards move within the marketplace. That's fair contrarian to what a retail trader would think. He would look at a market when it's trading hop bob bob like this and think, oh, um, oh, the market is trading higher, so therefore it is going to continue higher, so I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to place my stop loss below a price level where the market found support. And this is where I'm going to stop, pause the video for a second. But when you think about it, this is not how markets book. Like I told you, markets book based on two things. And when you look at a market that's trading higher, higher, higher right, like this, you need to be aware of the fact, oh, sell side liquidity is being engineered. Buy side of the curve into a price level where we expect the smart money first to take place. Oh, we see significant displacement. Oh, we even see a breakaway gap. Man, confirmations go through the roof that this is in fact heaviness on the downside combine that with other factors and man you have a perfect market maker sell model perfect okay so now i'm going to show you an example of a market maker buy model you can notice the equal highs in here the original consolidation this is where time is booking but price isn't the market is consolidating Nine thirty, due to swing lower, 
imbalance in price. We had high impact news at 9.45. That's why you see this long wick on the downside and then the long wick up. It's uh, typical for a news day. Notice how the market is now expand expanding higher after I've answered. Why is that the case? Well, when I'm zooming in again, let me see here. Do you see an imbalance here, a CB? Do you see how the market tapped into it? And then it got broken this high. Left an imbalance, market retraced into that BC. Then it tr traded higher. Sell side of the curve, smart money reversal. What confirms the smart money reversal? An SMT, a crack in correlation with, I believe it was NASDAQ or Dow Jones. It's one of the two actually. Then we see a more significant displacement here. This is the unicorn setup. It's a unicorn setup, it's a breaker. The fun thing is, you can keep your trading very balanced if you wanted to. You can just have one pattern that you're stalking and just enter based on that all the time. Full re... Full... Just eyeing this right now, but it seems like the actual low of this BC got fully traded into. Now I'm just flexing with speed and velocity, here we come. Notice the time that it would take to purge the high. Watch me annotate a specific price level. Where does the market wick into? Into that price level and it trades to my target. And it is random. <laughs> It is random. Just want to go back a few seconds so uh, that I can talk about this clip more. We have our own original consolidation here. Buys at the liquidity rests above these highs. Then we have a uh, when then we have an expansion lower, expansion lower into a specific price level where we expect a smart money reversal to take place, a discount array. Then we see significant displacement right before news. After the news right here, you see even more significant displacement. This is a market structure shift right here. Imbalance break this high, breaks this high. Unicorn setup, boom, trades into it, trades to target. What's the target? The buy side liquidity above these highs. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so here of another market make a buy model example. Here on the left side, you can see the sell side of the curve into a price level where we would want to see a smart money reversal take place. And like you can see in the video, it occurred. Sorry for the eye uh, animation. It was something I had to do uh, or wanted to do within the video actually to make it a bit more uh, cooler. So I annotated this was the low of the PM session right here. Then we see the buy side of the curve right here. We see a market structure shift here, but also here. Imbalance, boom. Retrace, expand higher. Multiple market structure shifts actually. But in the discount race, like I annotated, you can see my execution arrows here. I was aiming for this high right here. And now it's just patience and just looking at the magic. The fun thing about market maker models is that it is, in my opinion, a very visually pleasing thing or framework to see within the markets 
what I like so much about them is that they give me clear direction of where price is drawn to. Because in this example, price is drawn to this high. Right here. So you have multiple distribution phases on the left side of the curve here. But you also have multiple accumulation phases on the right side of the curve. If you add time to this, it is just, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And like, I, like you can see, I'm annotating in the, mar in the chart, big green candles incoming soon, speed and velocity and what happens, boom. Must be random. Right? It must be random, my friend. <laughs> So anyhow, my stop can be trailed aggressively right now because, like I said, my drawing liquidity, which was this high, was already hit. So now I just leave a remainder of the position open because it could draw higher. And when the market is trading above the original consolidation because this was the original consolidation you had the original consolidation distribution phases smart money reversal smart money reversal accumulation phases to the upside when the market is drawn to this high of this original consolidation and it breaks that high it's in my opinion very crucial that the market expands higher above it with speed and velocity. So in, in, I want to see big ranges, big candles above this price range right here. Because if that's the case, then we see continuation or are likely to see continuation to the upside within this price swing. But within this example, you can see that it just purchased the high, boom, trades above it, purchased the buy side liquidity, and then it reverses and it trades lower this is how i throw my stops i am very aggressive with trailing my stop stop losses i want to be in expansions and i want to be out of out when the market is retracing deeper than i would like to see it retrace if that makes sense why this is crucial is because when the market has trading within a market maker framework there's a clear drawn liquidity which is this high the high of the original consolidation but when the market trades above it and there is no nothing that you can see like here on the left side of the curve it is crucial that you go further back in time and try to determine whether or not there's a premium array above this high right here. Okay, so let's summarize what you have learned in this lecture. In this lecture, you have learned what the market maker models look like and how they operate or how you can operate within them. Because this is something that I want to this is something that I wanted to say for the end of this video because uh, I didn't want to drop this sauce for the lazy people that just watched the first 10 minutes and then just clicked away. No, I wanted to, to keep the best for last. So here is a market maker buy model. Just simply said, you have a price level where the market... Oh, let me make this red. Where the market reverses here after it has been trading down and where is it trading to then then it's trading to the price level where the market consolidated consolidated so this is terminus inception of the buy side of the curve terminus inception meaning the beginning point think in terms of a uh, of a train for example a train has a beginning point and it has a point where it's going to end well, the same can be said for this trade. This is inception of the move and this is terminus of the move. Let me type that out for you. Inception. Terminus. 
So whenever we have a price range, pr price range like this, we can have multiple entry opportunities. First of all, you're going to see a SMT likely unfold here. Look for SMT here. Between the three indices or for example between Euro and DOLLAR, which would be an inverse correlated SMT. Confirming that oh something is going on here. If you then see displacement of the on the upside in terms of the market structure shift right here, man, powerful. But how do we enter based on that? Well, there are multiple accumulation phases. There are multiple opportunities to get in sync with the market or with the algorithm when it's repricing higher to this price level which is terminus of the move first of all let me just take this away we have the low risk buy the low risk buy occurs after the first retracement after the market stru structure shift has occurred so you have the market structure shift retracement buy Then we see this high be broken and there's another retracement by what is that what is that that's the first accumulation phase where can your stop be your stop can be below the low of this retracement why because this retracement is a rebalance of an imbalanced price range right here So this low should not be broken if we're going to see higher prices. So, so then we see a, another retracement. This is your first accumulation phase. Then the market expands higher, retraces again, reaccumulation, and then hits terminus. This final run is likely to be quick if this high is in fact created within a certain amount of points or ticks from the original consolidation high then the if it is still a a range that is too large meaning that for example the high is here it's just a small example then it's possible that instead of going up like this there must be another retracement in which there's a third lag of accumulation So you have your low risk buy here, accumulation, reaccumulation, and maybe even a third lack of accumulation. This is something that is not uh, something that occurs often, but it does occur every now and then. But as a general rule of thumb, you can decide which one do I want to use as an entry or as a way in which you can frame your model around. And I've now made this just very, a very, um, how would I say this, very simplistic sell side of the curve. So just an arrow signaling lower prices. But I could have also just made something like this and maybe just inverted it from here. And the fun thing is that once you start start looking at all the details around this framework in terms of how what it looks like in price man you could start using standard deviations you could start measuring time you could start measuring the duration you could start measuring when it starts or when it ends and all of that stuff and once you see it you just can't unsee it It's just that simple. And before I end this video, I'll just give more uh, on the stop placement. Here, let me uh, make this obvious to you. This is how you place your stops. Because if there's an imbalance here, the market should not trade below this low. Why? Because then you could have a market structure shift on the lower end of the lower 
end of the marketplace. So then you would see if the market breaks below this row, like this, boom, market structure shift bearishly, boom, lower prices. And then this is not the smart money reversal. But, but Zeus, how do I know if a intermediate term low gets broken is a market structure shift or if it's just a purge of that low? Switch in time frames. Switch in time frames. So back to what I was discussing. When there's an imbalance in price, these retracements reprice into those imbalances. And preferably, and often, you do not see them get broken, the lows that get formed. And I know that some people have fancy names for them. They say like, oh, uh, my stop can be there because it's a protected low or something like that. It's true. It's a protected row because the algorithm is not referring to that row in in terms of oh this is a draw on liquidity no it is just a a beginning point or a reference point for a new dealing range so this is basically the market maker buy model and of course you can just inverse the logic if you're thinking in terms of a of a market make sell model main takeaways are okay have certain levels on wh in which you expect a reversal to take place then look for an original consolidation somewhere on the left side of the curve wait for obvious displacement in the form of the market structure shift pattern look for an smt in the smart money reversal and then just see okay are we in fact going to see a reversal right here and then see the buy side of the curve get delivered? If that is the case, if you have true belief in the fact that, oh, um, I see a market make a buy model right here. Okay, then it's then it feels like, oh, it, it just feels like you're so in sync and words can describe it because that's how I am able to call the market with such precision within my execution videos because I if I am in fact in sync with the market makers or with the algorithm that delivers price this is how it moves and it's crazy it is absolutely shocking when you start to see it repeat over and over again and I've got so many members in it, the ones that know that are like whoa this is just hidden it's just hidden in plain sight and no one is talking about it and no one is aware of it sure people think oh uh, the market is going lower it reverses somewhere and now it's going higher to trade to this resistance point simply said that's what occur that that's what occurs yeah but they do not have all of these confluences around that to build proper confidence about a certain idea of where the market is likely to trade to and I've, i want to say it again everything that i say in this video should be studied in terms of oh um, is what he is saying really true is what he is saying really occurring within the marketplace don't take my word for it and you sure as hell shouldn't go into the marketplace and do something because you hear me talk about it i am not a financial advisor i am not telling you to do anything within the markets if you do decide to start trading based on this that's your own decision not mine and i'm just pointing i'm just saying okay uh, this is what i know and what i use to do certain things but that doesn't mean oh you should do that no absolutely not so I want to thank you for watching this video, watching this lecture, studying it. I know that I've covered a lot of things within this lecture and I feel like you should watch it a few times if you truly want to find the real value in what I've shared because it's a lot and it takes a while to digest everything. You shouldn't binge watch through it over and over again. You should take notes slowly and study what I'm talking about. If you like this lecture, please leave a like. I would highly appreciate that. If you want to 
follow me on the other social media platforms that's possible. All the links are linked in the description. You can follow me on Twitter where I post interesting tweets every now and then, trade executions, etc. And you can follow me on my Telegram journal in which I post a lot of psychological related stuff but also more personal life related stuff. So what I'm experiencing while I'm on this journey to becoming the best version of myself. I want to thank you for spending time with me and I wish you all the best and good luck in your trading development. Be safe.